welcome back to another episode of Gen Z Auto. Today we have a 2020 A5. Now if you guys have listened to my last video, you know that the A5 has a very special place in my heart. Mainly because I've owned one before. And um, it's just for me, it gets you in to, uh, to the Audi family at a very good level i mean premium i mean this is not even an s5 and look look how we're sitting ladies and gentlemen full touchscreen display um dual climate control heated and ventilated seats by the way um and just a very classy uh vehicle i mean this can be you know obviously daily driven but it can be executive car or you can just be going to pick up groceries in this thing this it, it does pretty much everything and it's kind of the like bittersweet because the a5 is so good it kind of diminishes the rs5 which is my car in some sense meaning because this car looks so good the styling really the only thing you're really getting more with the a5 is that twin turbo setup but i mean it has everything my RS5 does, guys. This interior, I mean, this one's actually nicer because it's 2020. But yeah, we're gonna take you guys for a little spin, um, show you the guys the, the features, the ins and outs, and uh, we'll tune in. So, con I'm gonna bring up about this car um, in comparison to the 18 and 19 V9 platform is this infotainment system is they've gone completely touchscreen. Now, we, now, while it may be cool and it may be interesting and unique and flashy, in real world applications when you're driving, this is not realistic. Like doing this, and because you go from having the knob where you can click and quickly glance to now having to focus and click a button and be engaged with the screen. So that that is a main uh, downer for me. I'm not really liking that for real world application now for my passengers sure that would probably be great for them to play with but for a driver i would want to still see that knob uh, to control the, uh, the infotainment system kind of trademark and unique to audi is this virtual cockpit system um you this is a must for me um you should not get an a5 or any audi of the recent generation without a virtual cockpit system. I mean, it basically eliminates a lot of the concerns I had with this infotainment system with allowing you to control a lot of the vehicle settings with, uh, with the steering wheel. So as you can see, we have um, an array of different um, driver information, MPG, uh, consumption, date time, obviously. And then we can toggle back and forth between this uh, more speedometer tachometer view um, into a more informational view especially with the nav being able to zoom in and out on the fly um, input last des destination this is a very you know streamlined approach to infotainment and uh, driver interface so I really like the virtual cockpit so for me that's going to be a must off the bat, when it comes to everyday driving, this is just more comfortable. It's not a, than, than my RS5. Uh, it's not as focused as, say, an RS5 or an S5. It, it does the daily thing well. I mean, these seats are not as aggressive. The bolstering is not um, not as compressed on you know, all your kidneys, but uh, it still has a very good road feel. I will say the tire noise is a little bit louder with these tires um, than the Yoshi mirrors that come on the RS5 from the factory, but that can be fixed with a, a simple tire change. But overall, I mean, this thing has adaptive cruise control. It has lane keep, blind spot monitoring, heads up display. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, this is kind of like a, a, a primary example of, you know, driving a car how it's meant to be driven. You know, this car is meant to be driven like this. I mean, it's not necessarily, it wasn't designed to be a, a you know, a canyon car, but although you can do it, 
but this is what this car was designed to do. You know, in comfort mode, Gabe and I are just cruising down, you know, this road, and it's not an awesome road, guys. It's bumps, cracks, but I mean, we're just very, very comfortable with this car. So, um, on a daily, everyday kind of thing, it does it really well. Now, when we're talking about performance, like I said, I've had an uh, A5 before, a coupe. This is a sport bag, so um, off. I'm just gonna be honest, off bat, I cannot tell the weight difference, guys. I know that's kind of gonna be a surprise to most of you guys, but I, I honestly cannot feel the difference in weight. Um, going, in that, going into dynamic mode, I've always raved about this engine. It's, it's good. It's, it's not gonna blow your socks off, but it is forced induction, so you could tune it if you want. If you wanted more, you could get more out of this platform. I mean, it handles really nice. Um, we'll get into a little bit of twisties in a second, but I, mean, I can't say enough about this car. It, if you're if you're as, inspi aspiring, if you're if you're aspiring to get, you know, an Audi, a nice one, and you, you want kind of like a full size car, I will recommend the A5 day and night. It's pretty much the both the best of both worlds when it comes to performance and luxury. Um, I mean, <laughs> the numbers do this car no justice. It feels so strong. You know, I can't I can't stress enough. And it holds the line well, guys. Uh, we have to look up the exact spec sheet, but I'm pretty sure this has the S line package means it has that dynamic suspension um, for this platform but it's strong plenty of torque uh, 273 foot pounds of torque but it feels more like closer to 300 i know a lot of manufacturers downplay you know their power output and torque output and this may be one of those instances guys firm on the brakes. Ah, I'm kind of surprised. That wasn't as aggressive as I intended it. I almost feel like if you just kind of don't launch it, it feels like it has a little bit more power. Nevertheless, still impressive for what it is and uh you know click of a button you're right back in comfort mode and you're doing your thing so for me if you can pick up one of these used you're going to have a great car audis are timeless their lines hold uh very they age well i'll just say that audi lines age very well and you can see that with the Audis that are on the road. I mean, you can, there's Audis from 2008, 2010 that still look relatively, you know, new. So I'll say, and if you really want to get into the Audi lineup, especially, you know, pick a one of these you use for 35, 30,000, I, I can't see no wrong in this. So. And this is an eye catcher, guys. It's not an RS5. It's not, you know, something crazy like a C8. But it is an eye catcher. This thing is clean, especially in this white. I'm not a white car guy, but whatever white this is, it's just so clean. It just looks so good. It's so crispy. So, again, we're going to have to look at the spec sheet to see exactly what white this is. But, I mean, this thing is crispy, guys. And with those sequential LED lights, man, this thing is an eye catcher. It really is. I really, you know, I really mean that. Like, it's just the little things with this car that makes people turn their heads. But yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the ride along. We're working on it, we're refining our techniques and our methods. Gabe is, 
keeping me uh, consistent and, and challenging me with this stuff. So um, stay tuned for an overview and we'll, we'll catch you in the garage. So first, I want to give a huge shout out to Audi at Greenville. Um, they're awesome. Uh, Anthony Koshman, he he sold me both my A5 and RS5. And uh, if you want a car like this, he can get you into it. Anything from like, you know, S3 to all the way to R8. So check them out, guys. But anyway, behind us, we have a 2020 year uh, prestige model A5 starting at $52,000 before options. So this has the S-Line option, which comes with uh, dynamic suspension and bigger wheels and uh, more aggressive tires, and as well as sport seats as standard. So as I mentioned before, we are working with a two liter four cylinder turbocharged. It's putting out 261 horsepower with 273 foot pounds of torque. And we're reaching 60 miles an hour at 5.4 seconds. Now, even Audi, um, they get the advantage of having forced induction. So while you may have a premium and then a prestige have different horsepower and torque numbers, it's still the power, it's still the same powertrain. So that just goes to show you how tunable these engines are. So just keep that in mind. And we have that Audi all wheel drive seven speed dual clutch transmission um, as standard with the premium, the prestige level. So just to give you a little bit of specs about the, this car specifically as it's built, um, we have a wheelbase of 111.2 um, inches and we have a height of 54.6 inches. As I stated before, when it comes to this A5, and the S-Line package is almost a must. You're getting that beautiful body line and also a lot of Easter eggs with the performance and aesthetics of the car. Um, My 2018 A5 had a, the S-Line package and I can't tell you how many compliments I got with, the, with this Audi body line. So uh, make sure that if you're looking for an A5, keep your eye out for an S-Line package. That's an option that I would say you have to get. Compared to my RS5, uh, which has a carbon fiber package, this, this uh, A5 is kind of classy. We, we don't see any front splitter or any side skirts and carbon fiber, rear diffuser or um, winglet, but I would beg to differ that it's any less beautiful than my RS5. It's just a different type, type of beautiful. Um, it's still classy. That white, that metallic white brings out the body line so well. And it's just a, it's a premium luxury vehicle at right, almost at $60,000. So as built, this one comes in a tab at over $57,000. Um, but there's a lot of these out there that are used that are coming in off leases. Um, and like I said, I would rather have a 2018 and 2019 model because of the infotainment system. But um, if you want to build one and you want it to be similar to this, expect to send, expect to spend almost sixty thousand dollars. So we did a little zero to sixty pool. Um, felt good. I don't really know what five point six seconds feels like. Um, especially in the RS5, I mean, that car accelerates so hard and so fast. Um, but compared to other cars on the road, this car is fast. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, when you're riding beside, you know, a, a Dodge minivan or a Ford Explorer, this is a quick car. And uh, with all-wheel drive, in the wet conditions, it still performs amazing, so. So the interior is very comfortable. It's a place that you're not gonna mind spending a lot of time in. Um, it's very soft and compliant compared to the RS5. Um, it doesn't have massage seats like my car has, but I don't think you really need it because the seats are so plush in, um, in this car. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but I am six foot four inches and this car has plenty of leg room just to put that in there. But that's gonna be it for us guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We wanna bring you guys a, real, a lot of awesome content. We wanna start partnering with dealerships and doing track days and doing a lot of great stuff with a lot of great cars. So stay tuned for more and uh, that's it for us guys. Thanks.